Welcome to Fit Mama Health Talk with Angela Campbell, where I love to share real life lessons to help encourage you and to also teach you to honor and take care of your entire body, your mind, and also your spirit so that you as a busy woman, busy mom can show up the healthier and happier version of you for all of those you love, as well as keeping up with chasing your dream. Welcome to your new lifestyle. Angela Campbell here, the host of Fit Mama Health Talk. And I'm excited about today's topic because I don't know about you, but I'm having a really hard time that realizing that the holidays are right around the corner. The holidays, y'all, it's going to be, it's going to be Halloween soon. And then Thanksgiving and next thing, you know, it's going to be Christmas and then it's going to be 2022. And my question to you is how do you plan to keep yourself a priority over these next three months to, to go into 22, 2022 as the best version of you now? not let the holidays take over your life. So many times in any of the coaching that I do, anything that I've ever done, the holidays are the hardest for a lot of people. And when you're working so hard to take your health back, to put yourself on the priority list, yet keep yourself on the priority list, the holidays can be something that often throw you off your path. And what I want to share with you today are some reasons why I feel that's the case why some people struggle keeping themselves as a priority, but also really I want to hit in your heart today and remind you that you matter and it is up to you to take control and keep yourself on the top of the priority list. You have to be number one and you have to love yourself along the way. So if you're on a journey to lose weight, to tone up, to take your health back, whatever you're trying to accomplish, and if you don't know what that is, that's going to be first step for you. You got to figure out what that is. Not just, I want to get healthy. Like we've got to dig deep here. If you really want to stay motivated to get through, not just the holidays, but any of the hard days, you guys, we're going to have hard days year round, but with the holidays coming up, I see more women that I coach and that I work with and that I talk to that the holidays steers them off their path. And they usually end up spending two to three months beating themselves up, feeling bad about themselves. And then 2022 will roll around or whatever year it is while you're listening to this. And then they're trying to restart and it gets harder and harder and harder every time to restart. So what I want to encourage you to do is really focus on the now, right now. If you're not on your party list right now, don't start till 20. Don't start when the new year starts. That is a holiday that never works out well. I can't remember the percentage, but it was like 96 percentage or something like that of people that actually set New Year's resolutions, never stick to them. Don't be one of those 96. Be one of the 4% that actually has goals year round, that is working on yourself year round, and that that is keeping you as a party. You have control and you're the only one who has control of yourself and your own life. But what I want to talk about today is right now, you from the end, from now to the end of the year, how in the world are you going to get through it? First thing I want you to encourage you to do is visualize. I want you to visualize the person that you want to show up to that you want to show up as this holiday season. What does that you look like? Is it 20 pounds lighter? Cause you can lose, you can lose whatever, you know, in a realistic, healthy way. You, you have time to lose before the holidays. And you can do it while enjoying your family and the holidays. But what I want you to do first is visualize how you want to show up for this holiday season. Do you want to be a healthier, happier, present person that's having fun, that's playing with your kids or your grandkids, that's actually getting in pictures, not hiding from pictures because you don't like what you look like right now or you don't love the person that you are right now in the moment? What does that person look like to you? Visualize it. And share it with me. I would love for you to come into our free community. We have a free community on Facebook called the Fit Mompreneur Community. You can go to my website, acfitmama.com and see it all. Find us, get in the group, share with us. What does your you look like this year that you want to be in the holidays with? And then I want you to look at yourself right now in the moment. 
If you show up right now as the version of you that's listening to this right now today, if you stay exactly where you are right now and the holidays arise, are you going to be proud of the version that you're showing up? Or are you going to be disappointed? And if you say that I'm, if I show up right now in the moment, how I am right now, man, I'm going to be proud of myself. Then whatever it is you're doing right now, do not dare, don't you dare stop. Keep going. But if you, but if you say disappointed, if I show up the version of me right now, I'm going to be so disappointed in myself. You have control to not be disappointed in yourself. So take it. Take the control. Don't let somebody else dictate your calendar. Don't let somebody else dictate your control. Holidays should be times of happiness, should be times of creating memories. If you're a mom, a grandma, you're, all, you're going to be around family. Most of us will. They should be happy times of creating memories. And these should be times that you're in front of the camera. You're taking pictures with your family, your kids, your grandkids, right? Because you're present, you're happy, you're in the moment, you love who you are right now, no matter if you're still trying to lose 20 more pounds or 50 more pounds, whatever your goals are, love yourself right there in the moment, be present and be in pictures. Why? Because your kids are going to look back at the holidays and they're going to want to see you in them. Don't let yourself be that version of you that you're disappointed of. Holidays, events, work, our circumstances and our schedules are going to change, but our priorities should not. Who do you want to be going into January 2022? Or whenever you're looking, listening to this episode. And then you have to honor the season you're in. So it will get busier. It's busy already. Everybody that I know is busy. They're busy, just looks a little bit different. But the busiest people that I know in this world, in this life, in this, who are most successful, their circumstances change, their schedules change, their priorities do not. You have to remain your priority and you have to love yourself right now. Why? Because it's not anybody else's job to love you. It's your job. It's your job to love you right now. And if you love yourself, everybody else can love you too. But if you're not loving yourself right now in the moment, you don't even love yourself. It's really hard for others too. So love yourself right now and go into our community. If you're listening to this again, if you're not in it, you can go to acfitmama.com slash Facebook, get in the community. Any woman is, is allowed to join the community. You don't have to be a mom. You don't have to be an entrepreneur. It's just the name of the group. And then honor, the next thing you have to do is also honor the season you're in. Okay, so you may not be able to do a full-blown hour workout like you could last year or the year before. But can you do any, maybe 10 minutes is all you get? Honor yourself in whatever season you're at and make a choice to make a change. And then ask yourself a few of these things. What, what, if I want to be the version of me that's happier, healthier, and maybe 10 pounds lighter by the time the holidays get here, what do I need to do more of to get to where I want to be? What do I need to do more of right now, right now, in the moment, every week, every day, what do I need to do more? Of? And then do it. And then the next question is what can I eliminate right now? What can I eliminate right now out of my life from now until the end of the year? That is nothing but a distraction. Maybe it's a project you were working on, but you realize there's Man, this is taking too much work, taking too much time, taking too much distractions from all the other things that I'm trying to accomplish. Boot it into next year. I've done these with some things I was working on. 2022, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that over in 2022 because it's distracting me right now. I don't want to lose track of my, my health, my faith, what is important to me. So what can you eliminate? A lot of the reasons why so many of us tend to struggle, some of the top reasons we struggle with keeping ourselves on the priority list are these. Number one is FOMO. FOMO, we're always scared we're going to miss out. If we don't go to this event that I know is going to sabotage me with food and all the things or people that I don't need to be around because they're going to bring me down or make me compare myself or belittle me or any of those things, but I'm going to go anyway because I have FOMO, which means I'm going to fear I'm going to miss out if I don't go. Or maybe it's, I'm going to follow this crazy diet that is so harmful for me because everybody else in the world is doing it. FOMO. It takes you away from your, you being a priority. 
What about letting others down? If you have a fear right now, letting others down one, no, you're not alone, but it oftentimes will keep you from yourself as a priority because you will sacrifice your own self, your own self-love, your own health to please everybody else. Stop pleasing everybody else. You can't show up for the ones you actually love if you're constantly pleasing everybody else. And you have to remember that. Third thing is lack of confidence. If you don't have confidence in yourself right now, lean on someone that can give you confidence. Get in our community if you're not in there yet and and lean on the other women in that community. There's an army of thousands of women in there right now that are all just like you on a similar journey, needing guidance, needing help, needing support. And you can lean on others for confidence until you have your own. But the only way to build your confidence is by doing. And it takes baby steps to do. Okay. The fourth thing is if you don't have your why, you've got to dig into your why. And I don't mean I want to lose weight because I want to get healthy. No, we got to go deeper and deeper and deeper that. What is your why? Why do you want to get healthy? Why do you want to lose weight? Why, why, why? You need your biggest why and you need it visual. So one of the, my favorite things to do is an album in my phone that says my why or my motivation, put something to your four to five top pictures in there that are going to be things that you can go to and remember, okay, my sweet baby's looking at me. Need mama every single day and they need me to be healthy and they need me to be around when I'm old and gray and still chasing them around because I took care of myself to give me the ability to do so. You got to have a why and then you have to have goals. What are your goals? You have to have some some clear and specific goals or what are you working for? You don't know really what it is you're working for. It makes it really hard. Okay. Number six, the reason why a lot of people struggle is you just get, you get stuck in the life, the busy life. We think everything in the world is important, important. So we have to tackle everything on this big, long to-do list that we as women keep adding to and keep adding to and keep adding to. And then we stress ourselves out because we think we have to do it all. We don't have to do it all. We don't have to do it all. Keep the things that you need to do most on the top of the priority list. And then the last thing is we don't take control. So I want you right now, write, say it out loud, write it down, or go into our community and put it just a one post that says, I have control, tag me, and I'll know exactly what you mean. We, if we don't take control of our own lives and our own health and our own calendar, everybody else will. If you don't can take control of your life, someone else will. Their needs are going to fill your calendar at the expense of you and your health and your self-care. And if you don't put yourself on your calendar first and block that time off for you, you're not going to be able to fit yourself in. You have to realize how important it is. And don't feel bad about being selfish. Selfish is a good thing. Selfish is something I realized is a really massively important imperative thing as a woman, as a mom, as an entrepreneur, as anybody walking this planet. We were given this body by God and we need to honor it. And there's no way in the world if we're giving, we can't fill from an empty cup. We can't pour from an empty cup. And if we're not refilling it with self care and taking care of ourselves and feeding our brain with positivity and filling our body with good, healthy foods instead of processed, dry foods and all the things. We're not taking control of ourselves and our lives and our health. So don't let somebody else dictate your calendar. Put yourself on there first before you even share it. And learn to say no. And the last thing I'm going to ask you to think about is this. No, tomorrow's not promised. If you're listening to this right now, think about this for a second. Tomorrow's not promised. So if you keep putting yourself off, Imagine yourself on your deathbed today. Would you look back at the last few years, last few weeks, last few days? Would you be proud of yourself and what you did for you and what you taught your kids to do and take care of yourself, how you showed up? Or would you be full of regrets and man, I wish I should have actually taken care of myself so I could have left a bigger legacy and live longer for them.
Tomorrow's not promised. I have a 41 year old cousin right now in ICU with brain cancer and bleeding and things going on in his brain. We don't know what the future he holds. I just saw him a few months ago. None of this was happening. Nobody knew. He didn't know. Tomorrow's never promised. Don't live in regrets because you didn't take care of yourself. Don't cut your life too short in your memories with your family and your kids because you gave to everybody else, but you can give to yourself. If you need help, reach out. My inbox is always open. We at Fit Mama Coaching, we, we have so many different levels of coaching now. We're about to launch more. We have one-on-one coaching. We have a six-week self-paced program. We have a jumpstart detox program. We have a membership now. You can just pay a monthly membership, be a part of our community and get all the things in there. And we also have our free community. Whatever fits your budget, whatever fits your calling, there's something for you. You don't have to do this alone. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of Fit Mama Health Talk with me, Angela Campbell. I feel extremely blessed every day and grateful for your support as I can't tell you how much it truly drives me every day to continue bringing more value to you with health and fitness and mindset and also faith, inspiration, so you too can change your health as well as your family's health and life. I appreciate always listening. I also appreciate the shares. If you don't already follow me, you can also find me on Instagram at the underscore fit underscore mompreneur, or you can also search our free Facebook group, the fit mompreneur on Facebook, join our group full of all women, all walks of life, share this episode and also tag me if you do. So we together can help inspire and impact more women together as a whole.